The Schwinn Aluminum Comp, one of the more popular big box bikes on this channel, and lots of viewers have been patiently waiting on the final version of Project Comp, which will be coming very soon. But even before it was a project bike, the Aluminum Comp impressed me with what it was for $198, or $224 in today's money. And I learned that there were two Aluminum Comps, a silver one that I have that I've only seen on the Walmart website, and a blue version that I've only seen in Walmart stores. I assumed the blue was an older version, and for a while it even disappeared from the local store shelves, so I figured it would be replaced by the silver one. But recently, my local Walmart's been stocking up for Christmas, and Old Blue is back. I've briefly mentioned the blue model before. It has a front disc, but a rear rim brake, as opposed to the silver's dual disc setup. And for all this time, I've thought that that rear brake and the color of the frame were really the only difference, that it was the same bike. It has the same threadless headset and stem, the same handlebars, and even the same Shimano Easy Fire trigger shifters, with the usual 7 speeds on the right and 3 on the left. The fork too, it's just like the one that came on my bike. I gave a closer look at the wheel set, the hubs, the tires, all identical between the two versions. Leaving the mismatch brake setup is the core difference, until... Until I took this new stock blue model off the rack and gave it a closer look, specifically at the drivetrain. Which up front doesn't look too different in the triple chainring glory and the generic front derailleur. And even at the rear, it's a Shimano Torni, just like my silver comp, and a 14 to 28 tooth 7 speed freewheel. But look back over that drivetrain, because I didn't see this until I'd taken the bike off the rack and looked at it a few times. Look closer at that rear derailleur, at the derailleur hanger. And here's the setup on my silver comp. Do you see it? The blue comp has a derailleur with an integrated hanger. While functional, when thinking of upgrading a bike, that could become a problem. So on top of mismatched brakes, no provisioning for calipers on the rear of that blue frame, it also isn't set up to use replaceable derailleur hangers. And to me, that makes a big difference. And it's also puzzling, because I thought all these blue aluminum comps were gone, but now that they're reappearing, and with so many of the other components being the same, I think the differences are something potential buyers should make note of. And from my perspective, as someone that not only rides big box bikes, but also considers each bike for what else I can do with it, I find that the same name being used on two very similar yet critically different component setups is curious. Now we'll say that I think the finish and the graphics on this blue model are very nice, kind of a Captain America vibe, and on its own merits, if it works for you, then great. Ride happy and enjoy. But for me, I don't get why the blue is still out there. Now I did see that these were on the shelf at $198 as of today, so it's entirely possible that Walmart is using their holiday bike buildup to clear out some older models. Because on the Walmart website, there's no blue, only the currently available silver at the current $224 pricing. I'm going to reach out to Schwinn and see if the silver did in fact replace the blue, and if I get a response, I'll pin it at the top of this video's comments. And I'd like you to comment too and let me know, did you know there were two versions of the Schwinn Aluminum Comp? And if so, did you know all the differences? And for those that have been waiting on Project Comp in its final configuration, video coming very soon. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you have the notification bell active so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.